Right, well, I've not done one of these reviews for a while. Uh, the reason for that is I've not had a new guitar for a while. Um, so this is an Yamaha FG3, pretty much straight out of the box yesterday. As you can see, it's one of the new Red Label release. Um, it's pretty high spec. And I'd say it's pretty good value for the money. So it's a solid Sitka spruce top, solid mahogany back and sides. It's got the Yamaha since 1966 logo with it being the release, new release of the 60s red label guitars. Um, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, and it's got the nice some nice black binding with a white stripe. So uh, it's a pretty decent guitar. I'm going to compare it today with my. <coughs> 1972 Yamaha FG340 with a three piece back. I mean, this guitar itself has got a good reputation for having good sound. Well, this particular model, I've owned a few of these, and uh, it does sound pretty good. But you can compare it against this, uh, this new all singing, all dancing version in a minute. So I'll just strum through a few chords. with a, a 60 a little quite a soft pick so this is the 340 this one it's all laminates laminate top rosewood back and sides all laminate again but it does pretty well for a 40 odd year old guitar <laughs> So they both got a good bass. I would say the uh, this new FG line is pretty much you get in the sound of a 40 year old guitar straight out of the box. I would say. Because I've owned a lot of Yamahas and it's well, pretty much one of the best sounding ones I've picked up. And for a new guitar, it's pretty impressive. I'll just do a bit of finger picking.
340. Again, I mean, it sounds pretty good. This is the original release of the 340. Um, I've had some of the, the Mark IIs as well. They're great. I'll just do a bit of strumming to finish. This is straight out of the box, you know. Give it five years, um, hopefully, it'll sound even better. Now, there is um, an FG5 version of this, which is the Japan one, but you know, great. I do like the Japan guitars, and they make a really good guitar. But I've owned a lot of Yamahas, and to be honest, the standard's great throughout the Taiwan, the China, and the Japan. So, you know, if it was to get one, it'd be. I'd probably get an old beat up one to have in the collection for the sake of having a Japanese one. But um, this is great value for what you're getting. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Alright, thanks a lot.